I'm Rob from Barefoot Gaming and today we review the Noctua NHD15 CPU cooler. So why is a VR related channel reviewing a CPU cooler? Now, aside from the fact that all of our VR gaming is done on a computer, I am a big fan of bang for your buck. And not sure if you noticed in videos prior, but every time I'd record video gameplay in virtual reality, I was dropping frames. And dropped frames in virtual reality is a quick way to get sick. So an upgrade was in order. So that would be the why but if you're ready to learn a buttload of stuff about CPU and CPU coolers, I shall do my best to oblige. First off, the Noctua NHD15 is massive. Not just a little massive, it's ginormous. This dual fan heat pump cooler takes up a lot of room. It uses two cooling towers and two brown fans. And yes, I said brown. However, this unit offers performance as well as silence using PWM, which stands for Pulse Width Modulation. Now, if like me, you had no idea what that means, allow me to now help. This means the RPM or rounds per minute can be adjusted by pulsing the DC voltage off and on. It does this quick enough that it creates a lower or higher average speed, thereby adjusting how fast the fan runs. It mounts to the motherboard using SecuFirm. Sec firm It's a system in which, in layman speak, it means it uses the four holes that are around your CPU on the motherboard. So it pinches itself against the processor. Now, this puppy is great for overclockers. It's great for silent PC enthusiasts. And if you happen to love brown fans, well, that's just a triple threat right there is what this is. The bigger the fan, the more air it can move. So even when it's been slower and they recessed, I should mention, they recessed the lower fins so that you could have clearance for your taller RAM. So if you're putting performance RAM in, that's important. Now, what's in the box, you ask? Well, because every product review needs an unboxing, I hear, you get a cooler, two fans, the back plate for behind the motherboard, a user's manual, AMD and Intel mounting kit, thermal grease, a long Phillips screwdriver, screws and the like, and a voltage regulator cable with a maximum 1200 RPM in case you can't power manage the fans using your motherboard. Okay, the dimensions on this thing. The height with fan is 165 millimeters, width is 150, and the depth is 161. And assembled, it weighs 1,320 grams. Fully assembled, I kid you not, it is big. And you need to make sure you have room in your case for this before buying one. You want more specs? Fine. There are six radiators per cooling tower. So it actually looks like a racing engine before the fans are installed. And the cooling base is, it's copper with nickel plating and it comes with a six-year manufacturer's warranty. Now, we can't talk about this fan-based cooler without talking about noise. Now, as a caveat, I had to pull these numbers from online sources, as I myself do not have a certified decibel meter. I don't even have an uncertified decibel meter. I have ears. That's what I have. However, you're gonna wanna know more. The NHD15 with one fan installed at idle runs at 36 and a half decibel, two at 37, one at full, 38, two at full would be 40. And for perspective on what that means, a quiet bedroom at night is measured at 30 decibels. So 40 is, according to the great Google, a library's ambient sound. A noisy car interior is rated at 70. So it's quite quiet. Now, I overclocked my 8700K to 4.9 gig on all six cores, stable with this heatsink. But getting into all that would put all of you who are not asleep out cold. Now, another time, perhaps, depending on what you want to see, we need pros, we need cons. I did say this was a review, right? The Noctua NHD15 goes for between 90 and 100 US, and it does some impressive cooling, and it's quiet. No tubes, no compressors, and no risk of leaking liquid onto your precious electronics. It's big. So like I said, you have to make sure you have room for it. It has brown fans. I know I've mentioned it already, but it has to be said, the color scheme is an interesting choice when we live in a world of lit up motherboards and RAM that allows you to color coordinate your internals completely. Now, all that slamming of the brown, and in the end, I, I really don't care what color they are. When they're in my case, even with a window, even lit up with LED lights from all other fans, they just look dark and the standard is black. So as much as I may give it a hard time over it, it's a fantastic cooler and I, I honestly I highly recommend it. 4.9 stable on six cores makes me a happy guy. That friends is the review. So share this if you found it interesting. Like it if you liked it. 
and subscribe if you just can't get enough of Barefoot Gaming, because we are pretty cool and super humble and awesome. And did I say humble? Thanks for watching. I will see you again really soon. Have a great day. I'm out of here.